thank you for tuning in. I want to uh, share a project that I've been working on over the past couple of months. If you've followed my channel in the past, uh, you'll know I've experimented a good bit with the uh, VTOL configurations. I love uh, the fact that PX4 has uh, different airframe support, and I have previously tested uh, the tail sitter and the quad plane. I'll uh, show a couple of clips of those here in a minute. But I thought that the tail sitter uh, was enjoyable and the quad plane was a success, but it was a bit complicated. So I feel like a tilt rotor might be something in between and I wanted to experiment with that. Now the inspiration for this project is this purple uh, jet airframe below. This is the E-Flight Convergence. Unfortunately, they no longer uh, produce this aircraft, so I found one used. I've been flying it, and I wanted to install uh, a PIX Racer or PIX Falcon to uh, work with this airframe. There's some good documentation on this convergence uh, provided in the PX4 uh, documentation site and shows how to set it up and everything, but I decided that I didn't want to mess up my convergence. I still wanted to fly it, have fun with it. I always want to have at least something I can get in the air and not always keep it on the bench. That led me down the path of doing some modifications to uh, the aircraft in blue above. This is the Sweep Wings Juggernaut. Uh, just a little shout out to Ruben who sent this to me years ago and I've been doing all sorts of stuff with it. Did mapping, a lot of autonomous flights. I just had fun flying it FPV but I felt like this is a great opportunity to go tilt rotor with it. And so you see the finished product there in this video, I'm going to show some of the ins and outs of it, as well as uh, in upcoming videos, doing some more tuning and autonomous flight. This is the uh, tail sitter project that I mentioned. I just wanted to show a quick clip of it. Hard to believe this was uh, four years ago, but had a lot of fun with this airframe and I definitely want to get it back in the air again. I had some issues with the elevons, they broke off, so I need to revisit this, but uh, you can see just a simple tail sitter configuration. This is my Bixler quad plane project from last year. I love the Bixler platform, it's great to learn on, and uh, this was a fun project, but just have to admit the uh, quad plane adds a lot of complexity and weight. So I feel like the tilt rotor is going to leave us somewhere in between the tail sitter and this quad plane configuration. Let's take a quick look at how the tilt rotor works. So I've toggled from hover into forward flight. You can see the convergence. This is the stock firmware that comes with the aircraft. It slowly transitions down. Now I'm gonna transition back into hover those slowly come back so we're going from forward flight to a hover and then that's when we can descend i'll just apply a little throttle so you guys can see all the rotors spin up this is a demonstration of a hover in the backyard using the stock firmware now once again i opted not to uh, do the px4 mod that's what I actually put on the Juggernaut, which we'll look at here in a minute. But uh, you can see with the default firmware, this uh, hovers quite nicely. It's, it's very enjoyable to fly. Transitions are amazing. And so I uh, just wanted to keep something in the fleet that I could get out to the field and fly from time to time. Just a quick clip of uh, takeoff and hover mode, and you'll see a transition to forward flight. It just screams off into the distance. Uh, transitions once again are a breeze. Here I am coming in, uh, in forward flight, transitioning to hover, trying to stay into the headwind. I've had really bad luck with VTOLs in the past, uh, trying to fly them backwards. So I always try to keep them into a headwind and then uh, get them on the ground. This is my Sweep Wings Juggernaut with the mod in it, the PixHawk 4 Mini and uh, all the wiring is kind of busy. I'll clean that up in the future. Here's one of the uh, servo mounts for the tilt rotor I designed, and then there's the carbon fiber boom that is uh, installed into the wing. I cut that out with one of those um, foam cutters. This is a 10 by 4.5 prop, uh, three of those. So we have three motors and then four servos, two for the tilt rotor and two for the elevon. So you can see that tilting up and down. Uh, all in all is pretty, 
Pretty straightforward build, quite a bit of work though. I'll go ahead and arm the aircraft just to uh, see how it behaves on the bench. You can see the two front uh, tilting rotors spin up and then the rear uh, fixed one. And I'll mention that uh, in Q ground control, I selected the uh, default VTOL for e-flight convergence, a calibration that you would do with any PX4 based aircraft. And from that, uh, moving forward in future videos, I will cover uh, tuning and optimizing, but this is all about seeing if I can get this in the air. I'll demonstrate transitioning. By default, you start in hover mode. You can see there we've gone uh, to forward flight mode. I'll toggle back just so you can see the rotors get back into uh, their upright position. And then I'll toggle one last time uh, to see the transition to forward flight. This is a backyard hover test. I was able to get in the air and control it quite nicely. Now there was a bit of oscillation and that's due to uh, this being tuned for the convergence airframe. So in an upcoming video, I'll work through the tuning as well as uh, getting into uh, forward flight and then transitioning back to hover. So right now I'm in stabilized mode and we'll do some testing uh, with position and some of the other GPS assisted flight modes. Let me wrap up this video by uh, giving a little plug to Andreas Antoner, uh, who did a majority of the work. I believe he and his team did a majority of this work to get the e-flight convergence working with PX4. That is what I just demonstrated on the sweep wings juggernaut with uh, the modifications that I did to uh, make it a vertical takeoff aircraft. Now, uh, the last thing that I failed to mention is there was one configuration thing that I had to do. It's, it's nothing major and in an upcoming video, I'll share my params. You can see them here, but uh, we have to assign a switch to be able to uh, toggle from hover to forward flight. So looking at uh, this parameter RC map transition switch, I have currently channel six. So after I uh, configure that, that's what allows me to have the default position in a multi-copter uh, hover mode, and then uh, toggling that switch sends us into forward flight. So I wanted to just share this video with you guys uh, on my progress. I hope to share more in the near future and, and get a forward flight transition done and back to hover. I look forward to sharing that with you guys in the near future. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And until next time, thanks for watching.